Hello, today we're going to talk about how to um, resize a photo uh, for printing. So in this case, we have a photo that um, is wanted to be printed at six inch by four inch. So it's a simple process, but it is a bit of work and there's some decisions to be made. So the best way to do it is to open up your Canva account. Like I said, we're going to be doing a six inch by four inch. So always start with custom size. Make sure that you change it from pixels to inches, which is the unit of measurement that we're working with. If you're going to do a six by four inch photo, just simply create a new file that's six by four. And that's going to give you a white rectangle, which is your six by four inch backdrop. Um, I have a photo here that we're going to be um, using. So you can upload anything from your computer. Um, we're going to use this photo here. So as you can see, it's a great photo, but when you go to fill a six by four inch screen, it doesn't fill the whole photo. So it can't be, you know, it can't be printed as is. So what you have to do is you have to actually fill the background out and crop it. So uh, the way that's done, there's two ways to do it. You can either stretch it or you can right click it and hit set images background. Uh, that's going to overdo it a bit. So you can bring that in. And then you just have to decide where you want it. If you want less feet, more feet, whatever. And now you're left with an image that works. And now you have a six inch by four inch photo. So you're going to do that six inch by four inch photo. And then if you have multiple, you can just hit the uh, duplicate page or add page to add a blank one. If you duplicate, just make sure you delete that. And you're going to go ahead and you're going to bring in, um, you're going to carry on to bring in more and more photos. Same with this one. So you say you wanted this one four by six. Again, uh, take it to the corner. And you'll see this one. Uh, you can see in the corner, I'm using my finger. Uh, it'll give you the aspect ratio. So you see this one is five by four. So you could also change the, the image to five by four to keep it that, that way. But if you want it to do six by four, you have to fill up that white rectangle and then um, move it along. So now I've got that one stuck. There we go. Should be able to move it around. And sometimes you're going to be left with something that may not work for you. But uh, in this case, now we have a well, again, So the, the stacks are gone there. So maybe you want that in. So you got to you got to make decisions when you're cropping in at doing that, which is why we don't often do it. After you have the uh, photo done, you're going to go download. Ideally, download the PDF print file. Turn on the crop marks and bleed. CMYK is best. And we're going to download. And that will give us our finished product, which we can use for our order. Where is it here? Six by four inch photo. And now we have um, photos that are cropped. So because I kind of brought those in tight, we lost our bleed. So ideally you would have those uh, further out, but either way you can see where it gets trimmed. And now you can have something that gets... Um, cut to four by six. Thank you for watching and hope you learned what you needed to learn.